Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's, it's your boy Rask Andre. Today's video, I'll be breaking down the top five worst attackers, in my opinion. Let me know down below if you will agree with any of these. So, we're going to start off with number one, which is Gridlock. I think Gridlock is one of the top five worst attackers in Rainbow Six Siege. I'd wonder what you guys think. I think if her gadget was stronger and what she brings would be stronger, then I think she would have a higher presence and she would be better. However, I feel like what she lacks with her spiky things, whatever they're called again, I feel like they're too easy to shoot. You can actually still kind of run through them. They don't slow you enough. I feel like I always thought about this. I feel like if they're spikes, because they're so easy to shoot with impacts as well to destroy and other things and go around them. And, you know, I just don't feel like that strong. I feel like um, if they have the poison effect, like uh, lesion, for example, so they actually take damage for you and you maybe have to like pull out one of the spikes or something just to avoid you even going through them at any cost or them just being more of a hazardous thing, more of like an audio device that you can also get rid of because that's like a lesion as much as they're really good gadgets as well if you destroy them it gives you position away as well most of the time unless you're able to silently get rid of them it's very unlikely so good luck for me guns okay again yeah got the shotgun okay cool but just you know i don't know maybe she had nades as well i think you've got all the other kinds of remember six C's that we have at the moment gridlock's just not there on the pecking pe pe order she's just very low down there's so many other operators that i would rather play or see than gridlock i feel like she needs a mega buff i think we can all agree with that Moving on to the next one, which is your boy Bullets. You might be surprised at this. I, I sometimes see Blitz picked in Pro League as a meta joke. Same with Gridlock, actually. But Blitz, uh, no, just just no for me. Just a no, no, no. He's annoying, and yeah, but he just isn't a good character to pick. Like, you just don't need a Blitz. Does that make sense? You never need a Blitz. With Monty, you can actually need a Monty. Like in Clubhouse, when you need to clear the garage, those kind of things. Monty's actually useful in that situation. Like, he provides so much information. He's very annoying to deal with. Blitz, you can see the toes their uh, elbows point out like stick out the shield you can shoot them like that yeah just just no 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 good no good blitz is a no good operator i actually think let me know what you guys think about this i think blitz needs a full rework like a full full change he will be left in dust and is only picked as an annoying pick and he's only good if you can get right in your face and go bong 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 with a shield and smack a dap smack a dap ruski you up <laughs> if you know what i mean so blitz just for me is just not what it's about just a very bad attacker i actually hate seeing a blitz on the board i think you guys can agree with this Next, we have Blackbeard. Blackbeard was a fantastic character in Siege, if not even broken a couple of years ago. But right now, Blackbeard, they nerfed his shield again. Like, I don't know when it was, but it felt like he's six months to a year ago where it's only one bullet it takes. He's not bad. He's probably is actually, uh, other than the character that's last on this list, it's probably better than the other two mentioned, if that makes sense. Just because of his annoyance. He still brings breach charges and other things, and his gun is okay. Otherwise, I just don't think, I'm talking about like them as a character and their abilities and what they bring. I just don't think now you go, well, what are we missing? Oh, a Blackbeard. I feel like you only pick these operators if you're kind of trolling or if you're the main them because you like them so much. I just feel like Blackbeard is just a no-go. He just isn't cool to use it as well. This list is a lot of non-cool operators in terms of you just get shit talked anyway, just for using them anyway. So I just would not use them. I highly recommend you stay away from these characters. I feel like we should like rally Ubisoft to change them. I feel like Blackbeard could definitely do with a change. Again, it's the same recurrence. If anyone doesn't agree with this, please let me know down in the comments. I don't know what I'm supposed to say about Blackbeard. We don't like him. He's annoying. Let's get rid of him. <laughs> Moving on to Glaz, this one, for me, uh, it was a hard pick to put on the list because I actually enjoy Glaz. I mean, playing Glaz, as, not as a joke, but like occasionally in certain maps, I feel like he is quite useful. But the problem with Glaz, Kali is still better because of the gadgets she provides. She, she can still, you know, if the Thatcher's banned and maybe even like the two, like they keep going Mozzie for Twitch or you're struggling to get the Kaids or whatever, a Kali can actually be kind of useful while a Glaz doesn't really bring much apart from the nades and the Gone 6, which is useful. His sniper packs a punch, but... Are we really still using snipers in a meta? The, the kind of game I see just a one shot headshot where like a Roni bullet that fires so quick or SMG 11. One of those bullets needs to hit, hit them in the head while a sniper's like badunk, badunk, badunk with a gun. Brrr, you know, which one are you picking? Do you know what I mean? Glass, I actually had this conversation in stream but when people were saying like, what happens if we give Glass the SMG 11? Like, oof, that, you know what I mean? So you can actually kind of use the sniper at range and you're like, oh no, it's not working. Let's pop the SMG 11 out. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like Glass is one of the few ones where you can still kind of use them. Do you know what I mean? You can still kind of use Glass in this situation however when i look at all the other operators in siege glass just does not rival any of them like glass is low down this list now he's really really poor they've done 
a lot of things to try to help him. They have given the needs and they've gone six. But for me, it just isn't enough. It still sticks him in the top five worst. Unfortunately, we do all like Glass, and I do really, you know, I do enjoy him. I just feel like he doesn't really bring any more what he used to, especially with the, you know, he needs to stand still in the smokes. The smokes get used now as utility burn meta in the current utility with the Jaegers of all mines, all those other things. So, yeah, just for me, he's going to have to go in the top five worst attackers. And that leaves the last one, which this might surprise some people because I was looking at all the attackers and I didn't actually know who I was going to put last. Those other four came to my head straight away. The last one is Dokubi. Dokubi for me is an underwhelming character to play in Rainbow Six Siege. Also, because I feel like you guys might forget this, but if you, a mute is his presence is like, I think it's like a 60% at the moment on defense. You just run to the mute jammer, I do. But also... A lot of the times people don't use Doki correct, if that makes sense. The only time Doki is really used correctly, in my opinion, is when um, using it to either clear out your roamers, like as a team of five, does that make sense what I'm trying to say? Like you want to be pushing the angles together, you want to have a jackal maybe or someone else droning and trying to figure out what this guy is and then getting him on the phone. Um, but people just play Doki like, oh, I got Doki. Uh, attackers look like they're kind of, well, my team kind of look like they're attacking now. Let's just ring the phones and everyone on defense like quickly stand still for a couple of seconds, get rid of the phone call. And it's kind of useless. It just kind of holds them. And sometimes people don't even uh, stop the phone. So I just don't really think she has cool uh, guns and stuff like that. But I think she's probably the only one I'd struggle to fully fight for on the top five attacker list. But I just don't think she's that good, if that makes sense. I would really, really like to know your opinion down below and what you think. Please, everyone, let me know what your top five worst attackers is in this. I, and if if not Doki, why not? Obviously, I've given you my reasons why I think. But I'm trying to think of who else would rival her for this spot. I really hope you guys don't start saying like Monty and characters like that because Monty is no way he's top five worst attackers. He might just be painful to play, but he doesn't mean he's top five worst attackers. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Let me know down below which one was the biggest one you disagree with the most. And thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. And see you in the next video.